Hello and welcome. You're watching Next IAS English. Today's important news is coming up from Tamil Nadu. The news is that translocated elephant Radha Krishnan found dead in Tirunelveli's Kalakad Mundanthurai Tiger Reserve. Now, the Tushkar has been uh, translocated to the KMTR two weeks ago where it was released in the upper Gothai, Gothiar area with a radio caller. But he has been found dead and that is a very tragic news because we have been trying to conserve uh, elephant species. So, let us understand what is this all about. So firstly, before uh, moving to the context and background, let us understand the UPSC relevance of this topic and why is it important for you to learn about this, to understand this. See, uh, for environment eco in, and ecology, paper, GS paper 3, it becomes very important. Human wildlife conflict, translocation as mitigation tool. Then biodiversity conservation also it becomes very important. Links to endangered species, Asian elephants, Schedule 1, WPA 1972 and Western Ghats hotspot. Then, as you all know, that current affairs hold a major chunk of this examination so current affairs also it becomes very important for prelims and mains both and wildlife management project elephant project tiger reserve these are the keywords that you need to know about that you need to study about then for gs paper 3 also it becomes very important which is climate change impacts on migration habitat fragmentation in tamil nadu again very key important keywords then map based questions are also asked uh, which is southern western ghats August Himalayi Biosphere Reserve location and then there are ethical dimensions as well of this topic which is animal welfare, success, failure of relocation versus culling debates. So now let us understand what this whole topic is about. So let us, let us know why this is in news. See, translocated elephant Radha Krishnan, uh, there was this elephant who was translocated to uh, Dilgiris and he was his name was Radha Krishnan and he has been found dead nicknamed Tushkar his name was Tushkar from Nilgiris and released in KMTR's upper Gothiar area so he was released in KMTR's upper Gothiar area on October 26 2025 which is few weeks back do you realize carcass discovery this now this discovery was made in November 18 2025 so the he was found dead on November 18, 2025, and he was translocated on October 26. So it has not been uh, a big portion. So me definitely he was having some issues. Now the background is a elephant linked to 12 human deaths over a decade in Nilgiris due to crop raiding and tranquilized radio collared and shifted to reduce conflict. Now the, uh, this elephant was linked to 12 human decade uh, human deaths. For a for decade, from that means ten years, over ten years he ha, he had done twelve human deaths in Nilgiris due to crop raiding. So he uh, you know raided in the crops. That is why a raid he was radio collared and then shifted to reduce conflict. Uh, then the third this is third such translocation to KMTR follows uh, Ari Komban from Theni June 2024 and Bullet from Nilgiri's Jan 2025 highlights ongoing HEC management. So there were uh, before him also before Radha Krishna there were two other um, uh, elephants who were translocated to KMTR. Uh, the names of these elephants were Ari Komban from Theni and Bullet from Nilgiri's and let so let us we need to do thorough investigation on what happened to Radha Krishnan that he was not able to survive there now this raises questions cause of death under investigation now there are still investigation is going on primarily uh, reports suggest natural and unknown now that uh, report suggests that unknown cause is there and the cause is natural also this sparks debate on translocation efficiency so See, how, how efficient is it to translocate a, ti a tiger or a, an elephant? It becomes, and how are they able to survive there? Because uh, it becomes very difficult if you have lived in a certain area and then you go and get translocated. It becomes very difficult for, because there is habitat change, there is environment change. So again, uh, there are questions being raised on this part. And then there are broader issues as well, like increasing elephant migrations due to habitat laws, spotlighting Tamil Nadu's wildlife corridors and southern tiger reserves as well. Moving forward, let us understand about the uh, Kalakad 
Mundan Thurai Tiger Reserve KMTR. Let us know a little more about this Tiger Reserve. So, the location and area, let us understand that Southern Western Ghats is the location. Uh, Tirunel Veli and Kanyakumari districts, it is located in, in Tamil Nadu. Now, this spans in 1601 kilometer square. So, this is the second largest in Tamil Nadu and part of Agastya Malai Biosphere Reserve. This is a part of Agastya Malai Biosphere Reserve and this, this, is, this was established in eight, 1988 by merging uh, Kalakad and Mundan Thurai. So, this was the area of Kalakad and this was the area of Mundan Thurai centuries and this is the 17th Tiger Reserve under Project Tiger. So this is the 17th Tiger Reserve and the core area is more than 895 kilometers square. Now the, let us understand the topography and the rivers here. So the topography has rugged hills up to 1868 uh, meter at Himala. Then it originates 14 rivers, example Tamila Barani and Mani Mu Mani Muthar, known as Tamil Nadu's river century also. This is known as Tamil Nadu's river century also because uh, more... 14 rivers originate from here. Now let us understand the flora and fauna. So flora, tropical west, wet, evergreen to dry, deciduous and thorn forests are there and more than 2000 plant species are there. That's a huge number. 32 endangered species are here. Example, Hopia, uh, Parvi flora and uh, Culena exaliralata. Then IUCN biodiversity hotspot is also been declared. Then let us talk about fauna. There, so there are 77 mammals including tigers. There are more than 25 tigers. That's a good number. Leopards are there. Elephants are there. More than 150 elephants are, are there. Gors, Nilgiri, Langurs, Lion Tailed. Macaws, uh, 84 threatened species are also there. Birds like great hornbill are there. Uh, reptiles and amphibians, all of these uh, fauna are also there. Now let us understand why it is significant. So southernmost Bengal tiger habitat, this is the southernmost Bengal tiger habitat. UNESCO WHC candidate, now this is also a UNESCO WHC candidate. August Malai subcluster and tracking and ecotourism with permits. So this was all about KMTR, uh, KM uh, Tiger Reserve in Tamil Nadu. Now let us understand the conservation projects in KMTR. So what all conservation projects have been going on because we have understand, we have already understood there have been so many flora, there have been so many fauna there. So there might be some un undergoing projects as well. So let us talk about them as well. So uh, Project Tiger, we have already discussed that this is the 17th reserve since 1988 and focuses on tiger monitoring, anti-poaching, 39 camps have been made, uh, done so far and habitat restoration also is another big aspect, wheat clearance, grassland reviver and Mundan Thurai Plateau, on Mundan Thurai Plateau. And then Project Elephant is going on here, elephant corridors, translocation programs, example Radha Krishna release, so that's the, that is what we are talking about, that there have been trans location programs and still the elephant was not able to survive. Radio collaring for tracking, there was there has been radio collaring for tracking the animals, mitigates HEC via conflict mitigation funds. Now let us talk about August Malai Biosphere Reserve. So it's an interstate collaboration uh, between Tamil Nadu and Kerala and community based conservation reduces fuel wood dependency via ATREE programs, alternative livelihood, biodiversity awareness and KMTR Tiger Conservation Foundation 2010. Again, a very important point, a very important conservation effort, manages biodiversity, eco-development for locals, newsletter uh, named Agastya uh, for research updates has also been done here and then there are other initiatives as well, uh, the other initiatives include IUCN endorsed uh, endemism protection, NTCA Tiger Conservation Plan 2025 to 2035 for inaccessible areas and lastly invasive species control water security valuation study so these are the other initiatives of this uh, tiger reserve so this is all about the conservation process projects that are going on there are multiple conservation projects project tiger project elephant then august malai biosphere reserve kmtr tiger conservation foundation and then we have already discussed the other initiatives so i think we have covered the whole topic now let us move ahead to the mcq for revision we have already covered this mcq in the video let's see who was listening attentively the kalakad mundan thurai tiger reserve kmtr is significant because 
A. It is the largest tiger reserve in Tamil Nadu. B. It forms the southernmost continuous habitat for Bengal tigers. C. It is part of the Nilgiri Biosphere Reserve. D. It was established under Project Elephant in 1973. So let's see who will be able to answer this in the comment section below. And we have covered the topic multidimensionally now. So that is it for today. I will see you in another deep dive video. Until then, bye-bye. Take care.